cartoon Twitter is an odd place. It's a place filled primarily with mindless drones that go over whatever the popular opinion of whatever is being shown to farm clout because they're just that insufferable. Crimson Mayhem is, of course, a great example of that in general, but another thing that seems to be common with these clowns, Crimson included, is a deranged inability to order morals properly. Today, we're talking about Twitter user Izzy Insanity, now known as Explosibo on Twitter. If you spent any time on cartoon Twitter, you've likely seen this clown doing his best to downplay any criticisms of modern cartoons, merited or not, in order to own the chuds to farm that clout among other mindless cartoon fans. Usually, these people are pretty young, ranging from literal children to people in their early 20s with very little real-world experience. These people, they shouldn't be insulted, but instead nurtured, educated, and guided when possible. Izzy, though, isn't one of those people. We'll get into why later, but my first introduction to this creature was when he left a comment on one of Sarah's videos on Hell of a Boss, crying bitter tears because I stated not caring for the show. I quickly told her to piss off. She made a separate comment on the video, being mad because Sarah's was too negative, talking about how she prefers people who can also be positive. I don't know what it is specifically about the terminally online consumerist dorks and their aversion to criticism and negativity. It's just staggering to me. But concerning that, one person Izzy is obsessed with going on about is Zaid Magenta, previously known as Misanthropony. I'm not going to pretend like he's never screwed up immensely, but Izzy, and many like him, are more upset because he's mean about Star Wars. They hold the alleged opinion that all opinions must be respected while simultaneously, and without any self-awareness, primarily melt down about Zaid's opinion. Last year, when I did a stream addressing Zaid's issues, I went over some of Crimson Mayhem's nonsense. Like lying, saying that Zaid threatened people over Star Wars. But the main point of contention is that Crimson actively bailed on an effort to report a child predator. Izzy, clearly with screwed up morals, and you'll find out why later, was more concerned that I said mean things to Crimson than he was Crimson's actions. Also, he said something that's hilariously cringy and creepy that you can see on the screen right now, so no surprise there. By the end of the thread, he makes it very clear that he's okay with saying someone with negative opinions about Star Wars deserves harassment by people with low moral priorities. And I respond directly to that by pointing out that her alleged morals are less than worthless to me. This, of course, moved to Twitter, where Izzy got mocked into oblivion over it. We went back and forth for a while, and Izzy at some point defended a clown that's been on Zaid's case for years now. This comment is said clown being mad because Zaid tore into a clown that's been harassing him and my son Jordan. Jesse here has such low moral values that he thinks being mean to a lunatic cyberstalker is a problem. And Izzy? He'll defend him because he's on his side of the Zaid drama. Of course, people like Izzy have to try to claim victim status when they're being called out, specifically saying I'm punching down and bringing up subscriber numbers on YouTube to try and back it up. It failed miserably. This eventually led to a Twitter user informing me that Izzy had a history of defending a child predator named Camhead, claiming they did so because the predation was ages ago, in Izzy's own words. Because apparently, Izzy believes doing this to one kid is completely Fine. So, Izzy got brought into call and sent it. Yes, I heard the happiness from the artists when I said that. Full disclosure, I'm censoring part of this call because a server member said things that were not appropriate. He was spoken to about this type of behavior, and he will not be permitted to repeat it. But it's also not kosher for YouTube, so it's being edited out. This is also to address people that may think this is an attempt to hide something. Ha! <laughs> no. Here's the call. All right, Izzy, can you hear me? I can. All right, so before we get started real quick, so I'm making sure I don't goof up here, what are your pronouns? He, him. All right, then. So let's go ahead and get into this, because as you can tell on Twitter, I'm not happy. Not happy. Correct. So I have to ask, how exactly do you think that this child predator manipulated you? Well, I thought it was a few months. He only did this like years ago, and um, I just I thought he had seeked out fair of psychological therapy and changed, but it turned out a, a little bit of time later he hadn't. Okay, now how long have you known this guy? Since about 2018. So you knew him for about five years. Mm-hmm. When do you... When, okay, let's go ahead and backtrack just, just a little bit on this, okay? So, you 
probably met him through the YouTube poop community, right? Yes. Okay, so. When did you find out about his first indiscretion with a child? Mm, about back in March. And when did he say that happened? He about 2017 to 18. So you, when did he come forward with you to you about that? When did he tell you that happened? Hmm. Well, I thought of, found it out from another Twitter post from Not Ledger H. When was that? In March. Okay, but I'm talking about the first incident. The first incident where he assaulted a child. When did you find out about that? Was that also in March? Yes. So you found out about that in March. And yeah. when when did you find out about his second victim? I um I think it was also in the same in that same post. Okay, so you found out in March. Cuz this isn't adding up. You said that you found out about his first victim in March. But you're also saying yeah. that you believed that he is owed a second chance and that he manipulated you. And then you found out about his second victim, but you're telling me you found out about the first and second victim in the same post. Yes. Do you see how that doesn't make any sense? Um, um, well, I just thought that he was... Um, I... I just... You just what? Because, again, do you see how this doesn't make any sense? Like that's just that I found out, but I found out, that's how I found out about it from my um, from that one Twitter. Post. Okay, but again, you're saying that you found out about the first one, and you gave him a second yeah. chance because you thought he changed. But then you found out about the second one, and that's where because you claim it was from, because it was from a few years back, and he had thought that he changed since then. He you're, had you're not. Of, you're not getting gap. You're not getting my point here. You're saying in the same. Twitter post that you found out about the first victim and the second victim. So between between the time where he told you that he that he had changed and you finding out about the second victim, how much time passed? Well, I think it was about a four year gap. I think it was that's, a gap. That's, that's not what I asked you. I asked you how long before you, you, not him, when you were told by him that he had changed, and then you found out about the second victim. What is the time gap between those? Was it a few days, a few months, what? I think it was a few days, I think it was a, about, about a few days after that finding out, finding a, after that first incident I found out. Okay, so did you see the Twitter thread about the first victim and then found out about the second victim? Was that all on the same day? Hmm... Well, I didn't. I think it was a few days back. It was actually a few days. I mean, I don't know how to. Please excuse me. I don't know how to word things properly. Was there a few gaps in days between you finding out about the first victim and the second victim, and you found out via the same post? Is that what you're trying to convey? Um, I, I, I he. I mean, he did a couple of uh, both of those two first two victims were announced in the same post and then I'm aware is, I'm asking you did it again and that's not what I'm asking you I'm asking you on this post that you are quoting as the post that outed him as a predator the first victim and second victim how long between you realizing there was a first victim and you realizing there was a second victim how many days um, I thought, oh, but they, but they were both multiple ones were announced in the same post. You are somehow absolutely missing my question here. So I'm going to reframe it. If I were to ask you how many years between, or how much time between the first season of Total Drama and the second season of Total Drama, you'd be able to give me months or days or years, right? Yeah, I mean... Okay, um... so let me go ahead and reframe this. You found out about the first victim via the Twitter post and you went and confronted him about it and he said he had changed. So how long between that incident where you confronted him and he said he changed, how long between then and finding out about the second victim, how much time happened between them? So in this case, 
the mm. first season of Total Drama Island is when you confronted him about the first victim, and the second season of Total Drama Island is when you found out about the second victim. So how much time lapsed between those two? So the first one was in early March, and I think the second incident where he was finally ousted, ousted was in was in late March. Okay, so several days had passed. But yeah. You, but you knew about this. You knew that he had assaulted a child, and you were willing to keep him around. So you said you're 30, right? Because I thought he had changed and regressed, regressed his Okay, hold on, actions. hold on. Do you have parents at home? Yes. If I shot your mom in the face, would you excuse that if I said I had learned my lesson? No. Why? Because you shot her. Because I did something morally reprehensible. This yes, person, I mean... This person didn't go to jail. They didn't serve time. And here's the thing you need to understand... And I think you know it, you just don't want to admit it. There is a difference between somebody being a pedophile in the sense of being attracted to children and somebody preying on children. For the former, the people attracted need therapy. For the people who prey on children, like your little friend here, uh-uh. Therapy isn't an option, buddy. They have committed a crime. They have sexually traumatized a child. But to you, you think that's fine so long as he changed. How in the world do you come up with that asinine idea? It's just that I thought, I thought that I mean one other other um, Twitter follower of mine, and Mevans was sent some some questionable pics to another and left Twitter, and then he came back. And you think that's acceptable? No. Then why did you think it was acceptable here? Because he's your friend. Because I thought he sought out therapy as well. Therapy does not change the fact that you have a child victim. Tell me how that makes sense. Know. Make it make sense. Did he tell you that even like went to therapy? Sorry, because he said there was a few days in between. Like, knowing about it and then it being outed as a second one. Did he say anything like that or was it just assumption, first of all? Mm, it was... I'm so sorry. I'm not that good with conversation with with um, wording my. Things. You're on the spectrum, aren't you? Yes, I am indeed autistic. Thought so. I'm not going to disparage you for that. That you can't control. But I need you to answer Rosie's question. Yeah. What was it? Did he tell you that he went to therapy and had all of that sorted out, or did you assume it? Nah, nah, he didn't tell me he went, he didn't tell me he went to therapy, I don't recall. So you assumed it? Yeah. So not only did, not only did you assume that you went to therapy, you assumed he would have changed, based on what? I mean, because it was a few years back and he had got therapy since then. Did Again, like, you're saying that he didn't tell you he got therapy, so how do you know? Uh, I just assume... It's just what I assumed. You can't go around assuming things like this to excuse a crime just because someone's your friend. I don't think you understand that it also makes you look bad. As I said on Twitter, it makes you look like an accomplice for knowing that he did something and then trying to hide it. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it was wrong with... It was wrong of him. It's also wrong of you. You are 30 god dang years old. You are six years my junior. Who raised uh. you to where you thought this was acceptable? Mm -hmm. I was... Mm -hmm. You know what? Let's go ahead and skip that because you're not going to be able to answer that. It's a hypothetical or a, a facetious question. So let me ask you another one. You're claiming that he manipulated you, but you just admitted that he never said he went to therapy. 
So how did this kid manipulate you? And I say kid because it's not a kid. It's somebody in their mid-20s that preyed on children. But this person is almost a decade your junior. How in the world did they manipulate you? When you didn't even... You just, you just admitted that they didn't even say they went to therapy. That was an invention of your own imagination. So how did they manipulate you? It's just that I was... Um... Mani I, I, I don't think he was so much manipulated. I, I just assumed he got therapy. So you weren't manipulated. So you lied. Because you're scared of consequences for your lack of action. It's just... I wouldn't. I mean... Um, right, who the fuck is this you're talking to? Because I really do not like his bloody attitude. Switch the fucking thing off, right, and just don't have any Meet my with mother. Yeah. Just turn it off, Callum, for God's sake. Like, nobody else ever made a bad bloody judgement in their life, right? That's enough. All That's I enough. did was make a bad judgement, OK? That's no, enough. you covered up for a child predator, you worthless idiot. what you need to be listening to. It's people like this that are bloody yeah, people trolls. like That's this that actually are. have standards where you didn't raise your kid to oh have any. Oh, my God, You're standards, worthless. right. You're just sitting here raising off, a 30-year-old to excuse child predators. Do. You are a worthless okay. parent and you have a worthless kid. Off. Go ahead, run away, Cameron. Run away from the consequences, just like you always do. I better not catch you on Twitter pulling stunts like this again. Beat it. I will. Thank you for <laughs> that. <laughs> Piss off, loser. 30 years old, loser. Holy fuck, you're that hey, Zanglo. I, I deserve this. Leave. Leave now. Yes, you go. Leave. Get out of here. You can't handle social interactions. Leave. Go. Now. Go. And cope all day. You go. I'm thanks to thank you to word to your mother. Bye. <laughs> Bruh. I woke up. Embarrassing, son. I just that, up. I think Holy that God. woman is like the most deranged person I've ever heard. Yeah. Time for another banana. <laughs> you don't need to be listening to these people. Yes, Holy go ahead, God. child. Go and go and defend mm. child predators. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know that was embarrassing, but I didn't know he was fucking 30 years old! Holy yeah. shit! Also, I'm younger uh, than he is! Also, uh, Holy. I, I totally recorded it. Yeah! <laughs> so yeah, he's tripping over himself the whole call, makes it clear all of his excuses were conjured up by him, and that his claims of manipulation are self-created as well. The fact that his mommy came in and excused actions she clearly knows about as making mistakes is a testament to the failure of parenting that was at play these past 30 years. And yes, you heard his age correctly. This dude is 30 in pulling these stunts. Stuff like this sticks with the victims of these acts for years, if not their entire lives. But to Izzy, being mean to scumbags and degenerates is what crosses the line, not child predation. He made it clear that he's cool with that so long as it was just one and was ages ago. Afterwards, Izzy would regularly downplay her own moral failures, claiming he's moved on and that people are wringing the drama out of him. I'd like to wring something out of you, all right. Even going so far as to make a text image talking about making mistakes. He's even tried getting me to go after Black Sage, apparently for being 45 and dating an 18-year-old. To Izzy, that's evidence of predation that must be exposed. Now, I don't like Sage. I think he's the other side of Izzy's coin, except for anime instead of western cartoons. And while I can't fathom why a 45-year-old would date an 18-year-old as I prefer my women older is not necessarily evidence of predation or even orbiting on its own. Failing that attempt, Izzy realized I have no problem telling people he's beefing with what he's excused, so he finally blocked me. This leads to the latest screw-up. I apologize for this, but the tweet seemed to be gone, but there was a Twitter user from the Middle East trying to promote his independent cartoon about his culture and history. And Izzy, the brave white man he is, had to correct this minority artist by promoting modern cartoons with Middle Eastern characters and writers that have minority characters from that side of the world as good representation. And yes, I looked, specifically for glitch text. Eric Robles made glitch text, and his ethnicity is likely Hispanic like mine. A character existing is not in and of itself representation, much less good representation. Izzy, of course, got clowned on for this, claiming he was going to leave Twitter. Note, this is only because Crimson Mayhem called him out. Because these people will absolutely eat each other when Clout is involved. And no, I don't believe Crimson actually cares. I think he just wants Clout posting this stuff. Of course, he didn't stay gone from Twitter, and is now claiming his actions were worth it because it revealed all those toxic people. 
Izzy is a shining example of what happens when you're a terminally online cartoon weirdo that is more concerned with positivity and promoting the new thing than he is with what's actually right or wrong. Unless, of course, it gains him clout. Don't be like Izzy, and restructure your way of thinking if you are. You genuinely don't want to wind up like him. Terminally online, defending predators and maybe racism, and having your mommy defend your asinine actions. That's it for this video. Tell me in the comments your thoughts, or if you've had any encounters with this clown. You can also support me on Patreon if you want, or join the community Discord linked below. I'll catch you all next time. Take care.